And heading back to school can be a tough transition for kids. Oh, definitely. One Mass General psychologist is sharing some advice for managing your child's anxiety. Jordan has more. It's a tough time of year for kids transitioning from the freedom of playgrounds and crowded pools to the structure of early mornings in classrooms. I like holiday. You like holiday? Yeah. A common sentiment for kids of all ages. It's hard then to go from this very, you know, kind of disorganized in a wonderful way summer schedule to something that's very regimented that's going to require them to do a lot of work. Mass General psychologist Ellen Broughton says this can lead to anxiety for a lot of kids, but she reminds parents that this is not necessarily a bad thing. Anxiety is just part of life. Anxiety is something that we need to manage and it actually helps motivate us. According to Broughton, parents can help by managing their own anxiety and talking to their kids. So helping your child learn that all of those feelings that are kind of confusing and worrisome are actually normal and that what we need to do with that is talk about it. Keeping an eye on your child's schedule is also important. Uh, sleep earlier. Prioritizing sleep is always a good idea, according to Broughton, and she warns parents not to fall into the trap of overscheduling activities, which can lead to irritability and restlessness, or spending any free time playing video games or on their phones. And I find that when parents see that, they usually think that's a sign that the child's not doing enough when oftentimes that's a sign that a child is doing too much. Finding downtime is important for this mom. Try to have more margin space for the kids, not like this class, that class, all the way till 5 p.m. Experts say when a child's anxiety starts to impact their daily lives or starts to prevent them from doing things that they enjoy, it may be time to contact their pediatrician. Jordan Jagelinzer, WBZ News.